So what we'd like to do is, now that you've been here all day, you've met each other, you've seen some cool things, you've heard some really cool things, you've met an astronaut, um, what we'd really like for you to do is share 10 seconds, your aha moment, or the thing you'll never forget, or the thing that inspired you that you want to do next. And we're really going to pass the mic, and we would love for all, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, that's fine, but push yourself. Is that pressure? Um, so yeah, we're going to, so we're going to start, where is the microphone that we're starting? So we'll determine which side of the room we're going on. This gives them a moment to think, tick tock, tick tock. So your aha moment, your inspiration, the one thing, or one thing you want to do, or the next step you want to take, some hurdle you're going to, wh whatever it is for you that, and hopefully you've had those moments today. So, um, it's going to be first. So my aha moment today was when Kate made a comment about how we can think about technology, not as technology for an end in and of itself, but to enable really creative, meaningful human experiences. And that was definitely an aha moment for me. That was a really cool way to phrase it. Um, I was mentoring the hardware section, and um, my computer was totally acting wonky. It's a PC. It's on 8, which is a really bad version. We all know this. And literally, um, my COM ports were getting confused, and it was a nightmare. Um, but luckily, somebody in my group here, Laura, Laura? She was gung-ho and decided to stick it out, which I'll pass the mic to her to finish the story. But um, So my aha moment is, boy, am I going to install a new version of Windows when I get home, man. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, so I guess the story is uh, better shown than told. Um, okay, so we have here a light sensor. Um, when you cover it, it's dark, and the LED will reflect the light that it's seeing. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> program now on her computer, which I never would usually tell somebody to do an install when you only have a short workshop, but I'm really proud that she just bit the bullet and did it, and now she's ready to rock. Uh, the whole day was really fun and really cool. Um, everyone who spoke was great. Uh, it was comforting to know as someone who's interested in, I guess, what you would call STEAM, both STEM stuff and the arts, that there's a lot of opportunities there and that it's even valuable to be able to communicate your work and Storytell. So that was really great to hear. I was not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, still getting used to Linux and uh, trying to download the Adafruit library so that I can make a blinking light too. <laughs> um, my aha moment was uh, incorporating API calls into JavaScript. Uh, that was really cool to see. <laughs> uh, my aha was also in the API table. I was thrilled to look at all the data sets available and was enamored with many, but the one that's mostly caught my eye right now is fireballs and bolides, which are apparently are exploding meteors and sounds way cool. My aha moment was like the whole day was really fun to me, and 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 this is my first hackathon, so I mean I could really understand what I can learn from a hackathon, and also the uh, I was with the data team, and the data API is really very really helpful. Thank you. All right. Bye. Well, this is my first hackathon, and um, prior to coming, I was a little apprehensive because I didn't know exactly how I can contribute, even though I'm teaching myself how to code, and I think I'm making progress, and I know I'm making progress, but I didn't know if I had um, real skill to contribute. But after listening to our speakers and being in the group with Michael and uh, the rest of the ladies, I know that with my skill set, I can pull out things that can really be helpful during the hackathon beyond coding. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, my aha moment came um, when Kate was speaking, and she made me think about how almost you know anything is possible if you just try and you just keep going and keep moving despite whatever is in your head, and you are kind of the only person that's really in your way. So 
it made me look at myself and say, I've kind of been in my way and I'm gonna move out of the way so I can see what, the world can see what I can do and I can see too, so thank you. Hello everyone. My aha moment came when Kate was speaking and she was talking about not being um, great at school, you know, and for me, you know, it's like I struggle, I'm not interested, so I would never even try, but I found something that I really truly love and, you know, I would go to hackathons for free because I'm always learning. I, this is my fifth one, but it just, um, for me, it was just like, you, you gotta keep going no matter what happens. You know, if you find something you love, just continue and you'll be successful. Um, so this is my first hackathon as well. And I um, just finished a course at General Assembly. So I thought I was like really new and I wouldn't have anything to contribute. And I didn't know what I could bring to the table, but, um, after talking to Michael about the different challenges that there were, I realized that uh, there are other skills besides coding that I can bring. Oh. Um, <clears throat> my aha moment was also Kate. <laughs> uh, I, I come from an architecture background, and I was like in the past, like before today, really inspired by technology and the future in terms of like, you know, touch screens and things like that. And there's a really cool video called uh, A Day of Glass, I think, by Corning. And it's just, it paints this really crazy future that's the opposite of what Kate said. And I was, you know, very enamored by it. But after seeing and hearing about this, it, I, I can't stop thinking about what is possible, I guess, now with, um, everything being hackable, everything, uh, all the experiences that you have with everyday materials now being totally different. So now I'm, I want to do something with it really badly. So, yeah. Um, and I'm already going to declare the AHA prize. Okay. We're going to have to figure out what the AHA prize is, but yeah, we've got it already. So um, it's probably going to be repetitive because Kate's also part of the AHA moment. Um, and Michael and everyone else who is at the Hackers um, ch Hackathon Challenge table really helped me um, understand how to restate my challenge in a more humanistic manner um, and actually gave me a new assignment to take on with my challenge. So thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. Hello. Um, we did something really fun today at our table with Dave um, in a program called Unity 3D. And I was actually exposed to it a few months ago. I went to a workshop that was about making games in Unity 3D using C Sharp. And, and I was like, this is cool, but I'm probably never going to do this again. So lo and behold, I get here today, and then Dave is doing something extremely cool. So I actually erased the software from my laptop back then, and I only to reinstall it today. So my aha moment was never to, you know, never erase software. You may end up using it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, my ha aha moment was uh, always check to make sure you have all your AC adapters. Um, I think somebody's going to bring one. Maybe we'll have a light show by the time the party goes on, the mixer. But um, actually, all morning was amazing for me because everybody was saying the things that it's taken me a long time in life to realize. And all of those things that were being said uh, for women apply to everybody in life. Yes. Thank Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. And. Um, I loved Kate's speech, and she knows that. But aha moment goes to Dave, because I had no idea there would be someone here you know, would, showing Unity 3D. And I've want, I couldn't get into the code liberation class, and now I've downloaded the program, playing around with it. And I'm so excited. Like This hackathon has already been worth it. And thank you, Dave. So everyone wishes they'd come to Dave's table now. <laughs> That's, you're going to be around this weekend, right? You're, are you going to be around this weekend? Uh, or we'll know where to find you. Oh, all right. Oh, I, I had one other, one other aha uh -huh, since. Um, 
Yeah, uh, yes, exactly. I just want to invite everybody to come over to the planetarium, and if there are enough people interested in coming over after the mixer tonight, we'll all go over and hang out in the planetarium and take a look at it. So let me know if you're, if you're interested. Maybe not all of us. Uh, <laughs> although we would fit, we can fit 64 people, but... Um, hello. Um, my aha moment was when I came here, I uh, was scared of a hackathon because this is my first hackathon. And um, I heard all those ama amazing speeches and met so many really amazing people here. Um, and now I'm actually at this day that I really want to pitch my own project. And I, I wish I could have all those people in my team because I really think that everyone has such a unique skill. So um, I hope that some of you will join my project. So that's my aha moment. I, I completely changed from the morning to now. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Um, I, so my name is Kathy, and I, I felt like this entire day was just very, very inspiring. Um, there's just so much that we can do with data and just the people and the networks that we have around us. I just felt like listening to all the speakers talk and just hearing their stories just made me feel that, you know, we're the future in this room. And I think together we can do a lot of great things with data and just with, with the smart individuals we have here. Yeah, um, I was really impressed by the hardware hacking and I'm more of a software guy, so seeing the hardware stuff really uh, made me interested to try it later this weekend. So the aha moment for me was definitely the Albert Einstein quote. Um, I'd heard similar ones of like Abraham Lincoln saying if he had six hours to cut down a tree, he'd spend the first four hours sharpening the blade. But I hadn't actually heard the Albert Einstein quote, and I think it's really applicable, especially in technology and software, and how one topic, if you ask the question five minutes into it, as opposed to 50 minutes into it, can yield a totally different result and solution. My name's Christian. I'm not that old, but when I looked around the room, I realized that there are a lot of people younger than me in here. And when I saw them pulling up different scripts they'd written or practicing deploying code or just like running some programs on their computer, I felt pretty, well, on one hand, ashamed of myself for how late in life I learned this stuff. But on the other hand, really excited about the future of what everyone here and all the younger people, even I know you all, will be accomplishing with this data and for the future of humanity. Yeah, and I will be contributing too, and I'm glad for that too. Not too old. Not too old. Yeah. Hello. So my my aha moment has been working with the girls here. It's like they are just so smart, and they are teaching me what they would like to do. So it's an eye opener, and I'm enjoying it. Um, my aha. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, my English skills are lacking this morning. Um, my aha moment today was to always, always bring your laptop with you wherever you go because there's so much stuff I wanted to do and so much things I needed my laptop for that I didn't bring. And I was looking at it this morning and I said, hmm, should I bring this? And I was like, nah, it's gonna be too heavy. I'm going on the subway. I don't wanna take it. And then I don't take it and look at all the laptops in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was my aha moment, and I, I'm bringing it tomorrow if I come, definitely. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah, I, I mentioned um, before that I work with my niece a lot, and I'm always massively inspired by her, and she's 17. Um, but being here just reminds me even more how inspired I am to have conversations with young people. Um, just inspire me so much always and i just think that's fantastic I just love it i want to do more <laughs> so hi my name is fatu Mata, and my aha moment was really the whole convention which encouraged me to like i'm the new generation us and like it's encouraging me that science is like what i'm learning here like it could c contribute to the world so well, I think the whole convention has been one big aha moment for me because every everything I saw was just really interesting and I wanted to try it. <laughs> and everyone I met was just awesome. So my aha moment, um, 
I enjoyed working with um, Blue Mix. That was fun. That's what I did for most of the um, mentoring session. And I took notes at my table. Um, but it was a lot of the discussion that I wrote down. All right. Um, I don't have it. <laughs> it was, um, I just loved all the panels and um, the way that everybody has such amazing public speaking skills. It's like, wow, okay. <laughs> But um, yeah, it was the whole thing was my aha moment. <laughs> Hello, all right. And <laughs> amazing public skills until you get to me. Um, I I really enjoy this. I learned so much. I met so many great people, and to be able to interact and socialize with with Kate, who is doing amazing people. I, sorry, I can't really remember anyone else's name. But like astronauts from NASA. Yes, many Kates, and they're all doing so many amazing things, and it has really inspired me and showed showed me that I, I too, can do almost anything. Yeah, I think seeing so many inspirational people who are like doing all these great things with tech, and it shows like that you can really incorporate what you want into tech. So if you like music, you can incorporate that, or if you like, I don't know, wearables, you incorporate that. Um, and it really makes me think that like I can bring my own thing into it. Have any aha moments? No aha moments. <laughs> my my aha moment actually was tied to Kate because the scratchable paper stuff is really cool. As you think about an Internet of Things, we're also um, it also isn't simply the built environment, but it's nature. Hi, I'm Sadia. Um, my aha moment is actually a combination of all the lectures that was given today. And so like the takeaway points I remember is how um, Katie said that how we could be role models to other girls, and that just really inspires me and motivates me more. And seeing, um, I'm sorry, I forgot her name, but she, uh, her speech was amazing. It's amazing to incorporate all our skills to benefit humanity. 